Hey riders, some tips for you guys. If you're thinking about considering using Uber as a rider, um, here's some tips to help us meet you and to give you a good experience with Uber. Okay, I got three points. First one, location. Second one's about apartment buildings. And the third one's about destination. Okay, things that you probably don't know about um, that hopefully by me educating you guys, we can make this experience good for both of us, right? So, location. We have a different app to what you guys will use um, on the Uber Rider app. We have an Uber Partner app. Now what that does is when you request a ride, it drops a pin in our map system uh, within that um, app. It drops a pin there on your location where you request that ride. So if you live in a hotel or you stay in a hotel and you, drop the, you request a ride while you're in the room and then go out, of the hotel and drive, uh, walk up the road maybe to catch me up the road so I don't have to pull into the hotel, thinking that I can track you, I can't. I have that pin, that pin tells me where it's at, I need to go to that place there. Same thing, you know, like sometimes people will drop the pin and they'll be in the back of a store somewhere, walk out the front of the store and expect us to be able to find you. But Google will lead us to the back of that store where you drop the pin. So best, come to the front of the store, request a ride, and if you have to walk around the store a little bit more, that's fine. But that will always lead us to the correct location where you'll most likely be at. If you do drop the pin and you change your location, then drop us a text message. Say, hey, I crossed the road. I'm now at the gas station. Um, and give us the you know gas station, like a Texaco. Say, hey, I just moved to the Texaco gas station across the road from where my location was. We'll say, thank you very much, or at least be able to read it uh, while we're driving and get to that location for you. We want to help you. We want to get to you. We do not want to cancel our rides because that's money and time that we've lost by going to that location and not finding you. So it works in our best interest to do that for you guys. Right. So remember, where you request your location, either stay at that location or let your rider know that you have changed locations. All right. If you live in an apartment building, tip number two, text message us the gate code and your apartment building and we will get to you sooner and faster and you'll get less cancellations. Okay, so if you live in an apartment building, it helps so much more that you become a little bit more proactive that once you get assigned a driver, you let us know how to get through that gate. Every apartment complex has a different system. Some have a little phone button that we press, some have the call button that we press, and some have a hashtag button that we press. We never know which one to use. So. It takes like five seconds for you guys to t text message us the code, the gate code, and your building number. And we will get to you and we'll let you know when we're there. Okay, especially once that phone connection is made via text message, it's a lot easier for us to get back to you and let you know we're here. Now, the way that works is uh, Uber has fake phone numbers. Sorry, mosquito attacking me. Uber has fake phone numbers, right? And those fake phone numbers are used for your phone protection and our phone protection. So I can't call a third person and let them know, hey, I'm out here if a mum requests a ride for a child. Okay, so do keep that in mind. That's maybe 2.5 tip, all right? Final tip, destination. On our app, we have the ability as drivers to choose a final destination that we want to go to. So the other night, I was uh, destined to go home. It was like 11.30 at night. I was like, man, I want to go home. I'm done for the night. I've been going all day and hadn't made as much money as I thought it would. Um, so I set my destination. And what's that, what that's meant to do for us is that we get assigned people um, who are heading in the same way. So let's say I was going from one side of the city to the other side of the city. I should pick up somebody about here if they request a ride and they'll be heading towards my home destination. Where this gets messed up. This gets messed up when a rider does not put their final destination down, but an intermediate. So let's say you wanted to go to the gas station to pick up something and you need an Uber ride to get you there. Not a problem, we don't mind that. Um, but if then you want to go to the other side of the city, once you picked up that, then that should be a second ride for some other driver. Because really, I'm trying to get home to get my kids, right? Not 11.30 at night, but sometimes I might want to do that at five o'clock at night, think I'll pick up a couple of riders, earn myself a little extra money, come back from college so that I can go ahead and get home at the same time, right? 
It works better for Uber Eats because that tends to head us in the right direction because that's controlled by the computer system. But rider input would help so much more if you can just put your final destination down. Now, if that takes us five minutes out of the way to go to the gas station, so before you go to your final destination, that's fine. Most drivers don't worry about that. I definitely wouldn't. Um, I don't mind stopping by a gas station and getting you something while you head on to your buddy's place. But please put your final destination down, not your intermediate destination or where you think you want to go first and then head to a different direction. It works that way. Um, there's times when that won't work, like you're driving with a bunch of buddies and you're dropping off people individually. I don't think you can do that. Um, so you might want to drop off to that location first and that. And I would understand that if I'm a driver, but I might order you a different ride, like another rider to, driver to do that. I don't think they let you know that you have got a destination heading driver. Um, and that's where the confusion comes in. But that would be really hard to put in that. Try to do that video under six minutes and we're right at six minutes. So thank you for listening this far. I hope that helped you um, in becoming a rider and understand we want the experience to be good for both of us, right? I want to get to you, I want to get your ride, um, and I want to get you to your location as fast as I can, legally possible, and I don't want to have a wasted journey to some location not find you, all right? So what was that about? That was about location. Where you drop your pin is where we're going to drive to. So if you change location, let us know. Give us a text message at least. Second one was apartment building. Send us your code, send us your building number. We'll get there a lot faster. Especially tell us how to input that into the visitor uh, button system thing. All right, and destination. Put your final destination in. If you've got an intermediate one, you want to make it a step. Most drivers won't be bad about that. They'll take you straight to the gas station or supermarket, or whatever, to pick up a snack while we head, out, head you over to a buddy's house. All right, thanks for sticking with us. Take care. Happy Ubering.